The murder of a South Carolina college student who thought that she was getting into an Uber has universities all across the country talking about safety. Police say that Samantha Josephson died from multiple sharp force injuries. They say that she got in the car and the suspect turned on the child safety locks. He is charged with kidnapping and murder. Madison police tweeted this picture reminding people to pay attention to the information in the rideshare app, like the kind of car that will pick you up and the driver's name. Way 31's Alexis Scott is on the Alabama A&M campus tonight to show us how students there have a renewed sense of safety. A lot of college students told me they use the Uber or Lyft app on their cell phones. And one thing that they always look for is the license plate number and to make sure that they're sending the location to their friends and family. Look at the car on, on the phone. You don't look at the car on the phone, you're going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. College students in Huntsville tell me they take advantage of Uber and Lyft, but they tell me they're very cautious of whose car they're getting into. One student told me he verifies all information on an Uber driver before he even opens the door. Definitely check the license plate. They even tell you the color of the car and what the year, make, model, what kind of car it is. So you definitely need to, to check up on that. Shamar Maxwell told me anyone can go online and get an Uber sticker for their car. So checking out the information the app gives you is important. It's also important to know within the Uber or Lyft app, you can also send your location confidentially to your friends or family if you ever feel unsafe. Basically, you get into a random person's car. You don't know their background. You don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't know none of that. Madison Police Chief Dave Jernigan told me if you see something out of the ordinary, do something about it. He stressed to use rideshare services in groups and be aware of your surroundings. If all of a sudden you've got that sixth sense that something's not right, uh, everybody knows what that is, then turn directions. After all, your rideshare driver is a stranger, so it's up to you as the rider to take precaution. I just hope everybody else be safe and everybody protect themselves. You know, stay on, stay on the watch because. A lot of people out here are not good people. While colleges across the country have been sending out alerts after the South Carolina murder, officials at Alabama A&M University and the University of Alabama in Huntsville have not done that yet. But Madison police tell me that you should always carry something on yourself to be safe. Reporting in Madison, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News. The South Carolina legislature introduced a bill requiring Uber and Lyft drivers to have illuminated signs on their cars. The House Speaker put the bill on the calendar to be debated tomorrow.